Mm. Male validation. Mm, I've never heard of that. Never experienced that. Never seen that. You know. Hello. Welcome back. Two videos in one week. Who is she right now? I don't know, but I like her. Today's topic is an interesting one because I identify as asexual and even sometimes I just feel the need to be noticed by men. And I want to like, the, I feel like the fact that I feel that way, it has to be rooted in misogyny or something like that. I don't know quite what it is, but it, it doesn't make a logical sense to me because if I'm not experiencing sexual attraction why do i feel the urge in the first place it would be one thing if i saw like a man down the street and my loins was like yes give him to me i need him to see me then yeah it makes sense to kind of like seek out that male validation but i never experienced that so now that i've established that let's talk about the ways that i have learned to not care about male validation slash the male gaze so number one self-talk in my journey of continuously learning how to be the manifesting goddess that i am and to embody her i have tapped into not only just self-talk but learning to feel things real before it actually happens i am basically deluding myself into thinking that i live a reality in my mind and in my true essence, even though I may not see it around me. In my mind, I am a princess queen and every everyone treats me like a goddess. Therefore, my thoughts and my self-talk to myself reflect that. So how that comes into play is previously, before I was doing any of that, if let's say if a group of men walked into a store that I'm in, my thoughts might look a little something like oh let me let me fix my shirt or oh is my eyeliner on right how's my hair you know all those thoughts that may come into your mind cue whatever freaking um trauma that you went through high school relating to men or boys um that's that's what i would act like before i was in charge of my self-talk but now if a group of men walk into the same room that i'm in my thoughts are already like oh my god they find me like why are they so attracted to me right now why am i so fucking beautiful everywhere that i go i know they don't even have to say anything i'm i'm amazing anybody can see that whenever i'm in public and a guy looks at me with that look like damn look at that i always think to myself i know right what a sight to behold how lucky are you and i'm not saying those things because that's what i want them to do i actually don't want people to approach me i don't like being approached just because like right now in my life i know i'm not ready to date i don't really have the energy to entertain anything so like if you verbally state that you're attracted to me or that you're interested in me in any way it makes me want to just shove you away and like you know i just i'm not into it right but i don't say all those things because i want them to happen i say all of those things as if it was a fact the sky is blue the earth is pretty and i am a freaking awesome person and for me when i put it that way I no longer have to try. I no longer have to question. I no longer have to seek out because in my mind, I was validated the moment that they walked into the room. And I don't even like to use the word validated because you don't validate a tree by saying, oh, your, your leaves are green. Of oh, oh, fucking course it is. It's just the way it is. And so that's how I've learned to perceive myself. And it has done wonders in regards to seeking validation. To the point where I, I don't do that anymore. Number two, working on how I perceive my body and loving it for what it is. Now, I didn't work on these things with validation anywhere in mind. It, it came from a sense of I deserve to feel comfortable and adored in the body that I'm in. And I'm going to fill my own cup on that. I don't need anyone else to you know validate the beauty of my body so 
every day, morning and night, I've made an effort to look at my body and just learn to love what I see. And I know for a lot of people, we, we know in theory that, yeah, talking to yourself in the mirror is the way to go and, you, and hyping yourself up. And for a long time, that did not work for me. It just, I could feel the resistance in my mind every time I would say that I love myself or that I love the way my body looks. And the only way that I got past that resistance was to go ridiculously beyond it. So I didn't just look at myself in the mirror and say, oh, I'm so pretty or oh, I love you body. I was hyperbolic with it. I was like, God damn, why am I so sexy? I Everybody literally wants to have my body. Did I wake up? Like I, I exaggerated it so much that it was funny in my mind. And so instead of there being that resistance of like, oh yeah, you really don't mean that. It was so exaggerated that my brain went from you don't really mean that to like <laughs> it just it, it just sank in a lot better if you don't believe me just try it just go in the mirror and be like what the f when did i become so sexy somebody call 911 because it is hot in here <laughs> the more you pour into your own cup to where it's full the less you'll feel the need to ask others to fill your cup because it's already full. If you're wearing a red shirt and you know you're wearing a red shirt, do you ever find yourself wondering, I wonder if other people see that I'm wearing a red shirt? You know what I mean? Like if you see something about yourself as an undisputable fact, you don't look at other people to validate that fact. You're so secure and confident in it that why would you need to want to validate that? You would probably be like, no shit, of course my shirt is red. I'm glad you see that, because I see it too. I put it on this morning. And I think lastly, the third thing is like, having high standards for what you deserve in your life. So even though I'm not looking to date anyone right now because I'm truly at peace and I know that I'm working on me and I'm doing stuff, right? My standards for having any kind of romantic interest are so high, like ridiculously high. And some people might look at my standards and be like, what you're asking for is impossible or like you're being a perfectionist with your standards. And I disagree. And the only reason why I disagree is because at this moment in my life, if someone is not meeting those high standards, if, if this person isn't amazing, why would I even entertain that? So in my mind, it doesn't make sense for me to, to want to even attract any kind of attention from a man because I'm not going to entertain it anyway. You know, what do I want him to just tell me that I'm pretty? Do I just want him to tell me something that I already know about myself? You know, and you know, what's crazy is that when I started thinking this way it was actually when people started coming up to me, male or female, saying how pretty I am, how beautiful I am. It just kind of, I don't even think they realize that they do it. Like at work today, this man came up to me and was like, hello, gorgeous. Let me get blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? And before that stuff didn't really happen to me until I started already having this mindset. So yeah, that's what I would say for the last point. Have really high standards. Know what you deserve. Know what you're worth. And know that like, Anybody that's below that bar that you've said, you ain't got time for that. And I just want to switch gears real quick for anybody that is feeling the need to have that validation. I've been there and if you're in that place, there is nothing wrong with that. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel shame or guilt about it because it is human nature to want to know that like you're sexy in the eyes of of anybody and that's okay and if experiencing compliments from everybody makes you feel good too hey sis i'm here for that too i like it too i'm a leo son okay so i will never turn down a compliment i live for them all day every day and i don't think there's anything wrong with finding that balance you can be totally confident and secure in yourself and still appreciate comments you can be confident and secure in yourself and not want 
compliments from anybody because you don't need it. Either one is okay. As long as you are standing in your power and not trying to get that self-confidence from anybody else, you do you. I want you to do what makes you feel the most empowered. But just in case you didn't know, you are an absolute king slash queen slash non-binary majesty, whatever you identify as, you are royalty and you deserve all the best and you should not settle for anything less because we don't do that around here, okay? Keep that in mind. Remember Sage told you that the next time you're kind of questioning yourself. So that's the tea for today. Like and subscribe if you like this video, whatever, you know how it goes. And I'll see you in the next video.